join the force. Never! <laughs> Welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipski, your host. Today I'll be showing you how to make a lightsaber out of long fluorescent tube and a insect zapper. This is actually very portable. This is the, one, the first in the world on YouTube, anyway, ever been made. It is the simplest lightsaber. It doesn't use LED, but it actually uses fluorescent light bulb. And the light consistency is much better. And the feel of it is much better. So I'll show you how to do it right now. Let's get started. You'll need a insect zapper device like this one. What you want to do is you want to take it apart. There's about four or five screws you need to remove. Once you remove it, you want to keep some of the part, for example, the head that has an aluminum mesh. I'm going to use an aluminum mesh for some other products you can check back later on. Um, I'm going to make a heater stove, use a it for something heater else. stove, a chocolate photo heater stove. The second device you will need is um, the fluorescent tube, a long tube. This is a 21 inch. It runs uh, about 13 watt of power, but we're not going to use that much power to run this uh, lightsaber. You also need this um, plastic tube I got from a bubble uh, machine or bubble device at a dollar store. Yeah, it cost me I think about two or three bucks. I'm not too sure, but yeah, it's pretty cool actually. Um, you don't have to spend so much money. Doing these projects. Okay, so I had a little fun of it. So you can see I was testing, <laughs> playing with the bubble. Yeah, it's quite fun. So I'm going to use these wire to um, wire up my uh, lightsaber. Let's test it out. See what. Perfect. Perfecto. Perfecto. Okay, so you can see the circuit. So there are the blue and the red um, wire that's currently uh, solder in. But what we're going to do is we're going to move this blue wire and place it right between neither this one or this one. I would say this one. You don't want to put it here because uh, that will short circuit the uh, system. So what we're going to do is move this blue wire and move it here, we'll resolder here and then the, these two uh, terminal will then be hooked up to the ter two terminal end of the uh, long um, fluorescent light bulb. Okay, we're going to desolder the blue wires. There we go and we're going to put it right there. Just need one wire actually. Go. Maybe add a bit more solder. There we go. Perfect. Quite simple. So now you can have a look. Okay, so I move the blue wire and place it right in the middle. Right there. And now we should be fine. What we want to do is to measure how long the tube is, and we need uh, at least that long. Okay. So I would go, you know, a couple more inch. Okay, so that's that length, and then add a couple more inch to it, just in case. You can always cut it out later. So I'll leave about this long. Okay, so there's a tube, right? And we're going to add a few more inch, maybe about three inches more. You can always cut it up later. OK. 
Okay, there it is. The wire stripped it. Perfect. Nice. Great. Don't throw any of the wires away. You will need it for all these projects. Save so much money. You know how much it costs these wires? If you could buy in the store, you'd be surprised. It's at least like a couple of bucks. I would say it's four or five bucks. And these are, you know, don't recycle it and reuse it if you, you know, don't just recycle it. I mean, reuse it. It's better than recycle because recycle, you don't know what they do with them. You know, end up dumping them and, you know, you, you know, if they were to melt it down, whatever, it still require more heat and energy. And again, think about that's still not saving the environment in some way. Whereas this, we can reuse it and make other things, right? Okay, so this is uh, wired. Just to test it out, okay. So you can see um, the blue and red wire, and then I um, put an insulator tape between uh, the long wire that I used from the Christmas light. Okay, you can see that it's a bit messy here, but here we go. Let's put the two battery in and test it out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to solder it in, okay. We need always to test it out first to set, make sure the circuit is is uh, okay. It's uh, there we go. It works well. Okay, good. So now I'm gonna solder these wire in there. Okay. So it was it was loose. It was just uh, you know it was, I was clamping it down to make sure that it was working. So so I guess it's okay now. Just try one more time. Yeah. Everything's good. Okay. Okay, we're gonna solder it in. No? Okay. Okay, so far so good. Again, always test the circuit. If it's the first time that you did the circuit. So far, so good. Okay, so now we're gonna put this uh, long fluorescent tube into this plastic long tube. This is from the soap bubble uh, device. Okay. So let's put it in. But there we go. Okay, something like this. Now I might want to drill a hole here to bring it out. I'm not sure yet, but let's. So maybe I'll do that because uh, let's see how. Yeah, it might be a little bit too short. Okay, but okay I'm going to drill a hole into this uh, plastic tube because it was too short. So I'm going to um, allow the tube, the fluorescent long tube, to come out. So what we're going to do is just use a hand drill and just drill it in. Okay, so I made a hole, but it's not big enough. So I'm going to use a, a rotary drill to increase the size. Uh, drill it in. Okay, let's see if this can fit. Okay, it needs to be slightly bigger because it doesn't fit yet. That's pretty good, yep. Perfect. Okay, now I need to um, hot glue the wire. Okay, so let's do that now. Okay, I'm going to hot glue the long wire. And just for the looks, right? It just looks, uh, you want it to be on one side. So first I'm going to hot glue the top here.
you can see the wires going down towards the end of the tube so I hot glue the whole thing down keeping it on one side okay what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some uh, hot glue around the end right a very thick one to give it a cushion so you notice there's a um, there's a plastic then there's air in between and then there is the uh, lesson tube so when it hits right a surface I mean not not uh, not hard but light you know light and medium you know about a couple of pound per inch right um, it shouldn't break the um, lesson light tube and that's what we want okay okay I'm gonna move a um, one end of the screw here plastic joint I'm gonna cut that off so that I can fit the uh, resin tube into it this is in a way okay, just cut it off okay to use a uh, rudy tool to cut it off okay so far so good we're gonna gonna hot glue it and then we're gonna screw it in so do something like this okay the circuit is working well just you can test it one more time oh cool we're almost done I just need to uh, wait until the hot glue is dry and then I use a um, insulator tape a black one to wrap around that and it is completed my lightsaber it cost me less than 30 bucks to do, to make one in a couple hours but there we have it a lightsaber made from uh, insect zapper and some plastic uh, tube from the bubbles and the uh, fluorescent long tube that's about it and a few of course and a few Christmas wire but other than that and hot glue of course and tapes and we're done there we go the tape is pretty solid feels feels really good actually feels like a blade you know like a real wow uh, you gotta feel this thing this is feels like a lightsaber well I don't never I don't know what lightsaber feel like but it feels solid it feels just right okay let's put on the battery oh ho ho there you have it. <laughs> yeah! Now the only thing of course is the sound, but I think it's to make that sound up, but this feels good. This feels... Oh yeah, but you don't want to hit too hard of course, you know. You might break the uh, fluorescent light, but still, it's amazing. All right, there we go. It's finished. Feels solid using fluorescent light. It feels actually feels like a lightsaber. Mm. Cool. EducateTube.com. Luke joined the force. Never!